Hey guys, welcome to another one of my videos. This will be just a quick little video showcasing the new Assassin's Creed Blades that got released a few days ago by Kale Chips. They look really cool, really slick, and in-game it's just so satisfying to use them. I personally really, really like them, and I just wanted to make this little showcase video to talk a little bit more about it. If you're interested, I'll provide a link down in the description below so you can get them yourself. The setup is relatively easy. Kalechips already made a tutorial on how can you set it up on your avatar. It looks really nice uh, and it is personally made for the otters and the odiers, but you can of course use it on other models as well. There's just gonna be a few more extra steps on how to set them up. And the way I did it is I just had two separate textures or prefabs to set them up on the avatar. As you can see here, I have it on the Shiba and I'd have to say it looks really nice. It's a little bit janky because as I said before, it's not made, it's only made for the otters and odiers, but I got it to work on the Shiba and personally it's, it looks really nice. There's a few bugs here and there that I gotta test, but overall it looks really nice. In game, it gives you an option to activate it either with a fist gesture or you can use a 3.0 menu so you can select it so they're every time on, so they're always on. That way you can use your own facial gestures or, you know, if you have index controllers, you can freely use your fingers without the blades going back into the chamber. Models, the model looks really nice. Uh, here, I'm going to show it to you in a bit lighter area. So you can see all the details and there's even a texture files provided with it so you can customize them yourself so you can change the color of the blades as well. Uh, don't mind the blood on the blades, that is I forgot to remove them myself. Uh, they do come with it but you can personally remove it so they look a bit more cleaner than they do in this video. But overall, it's really nice. They look really, really sleek and nice. And to be honest, it's not even that much to get them. Here's some close up pictures in game so you can kind of get a better view of them. It's a little close up of how it looks like in game. But yeah, thank you again, Kill Chips, for making this. The, assets, the asset is amazing, and I can't wait to see your future work. If you would like to get these yourself, I will provide a Gumroad link in the description and also Kale Chips uh, Twitter. Thank you guys for watching, I'll see you around.